And finally, Project Bloodhound is an attempt to get a land vehicle to travel at 1600 kilometers per hour. The attempt will be made in South Africa a couple of years down the road and there is an Indian connect with the project. Andy Green used to be with the Royal Air Force and being on the ground doesn't seem to have slowed him down much. You already hold the land speed record, which is nothing to sneeze at, right? What is it right now? <laughs> a mere 1,228 kilometers an hour. So it is, it's, it's not only the longest standing record in history, it's now 19 years old, but it's the only supersonic record in history. That in itself was an achievement nobody's matched in 19 years. It was that difficult. Bloodhound is going to go 30% faster, all in the supersonic region. It is that remarkable. Project Bloodhound has a bit of India in it too. 3D printed steering wheel, Renishaw's research and development's done here. The machining for the suspension components was done with Jivel Software, an Indian company. The chassis is built with Tata steel. The list goes on. Wow. It's a fantastic. Wow. Bloodhound is running a model rocket car competition. Tens of thousands of children in the UK. It's also running overseas in Brazil, in South Africa, and we're trying to get it started up in India, where model rocket cars, the kids can actually design and build and research and develop and engineer their own very cheap, very simple rocket cars. In the contest, I think, also for students to build their own little rocket cars. Yeah, they are, and that's something I definitely want to take part in. He already holds the land speed record of over 1,200 kilometers, going for above 1,300, eventually above 1,600 kilometers per hour. Certainly not speeds you can do on the roads of the city. With Alphonse Raj, Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV.